All right, so here we are, Amazon PPC mini course video number two. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about three main points. One, is PPC right for you? Two, we'll cover some key terminology. And three, yes, the wait is over. You're going to launch your first campaign. All right, so is PPC right for you? Three questions we're going to ask. Will your listing convert? Are you impatient patient? And how are your margins? Will your listing convert? One, do you have a competitive price? Now, I don't mean do you have the lowest price. I mean, is your price competitive for the value you're providing? So if, you're, if you have a lot of perceived value or you're offering an amazing bundle, then perhaps you might be on the higher end. But is it competitive for the value you're providing? Second one is reviews, and this is an interesting one because I know a lot of people have, you know, their viewpoints. Some people say, oh, you have to have 15 reviews before you start, or you have to have 25, or you'll hear a story about someone who started, they had no reviews, and they killed it. What I'm going to show you is a way where you can start PPC right away. You can take care of a huge step first, and in that time, go out and get yourself 5 to 10 reviews, which really isn't hard to do. You'll have that social proof, and you can get started. So the best of both worlds. Uh, the third part, quality listing. I'm sure you've heard this. Good listings convert better, so make sure you've got those good photos, well-optimized listing, good copy, and um, you know just something that's going to really keep the, the, the buyer engaged and, and get them to purchase. The fourth point is depth of market. Again, something you should have heard of, you should have looked into when you first picked your product. We need to make sure that there's people searching for this. Uh, if they aren't searching, pay-per-click isn't going to do us a whole lot of good. Okay, so are you impatient patient? I don't remember where I heard this, but I liked it when I heard it. And the idea was kind of splitting people into two camps. One being the impatient patient person, and the other being the patient impatient. The patient impatient is that person who puts things off, says, oh, I'll, I'll start pay-per-click, next month, this summer, next year, and then once they start, they're impatient. They, they want those results right away. As opposed to impatient, patient is that person who needs to start. You know, They need to launch that private label product. They need to launch uh, their PPC. They gotta get it going. But once they do, they understand they have to be patient and let the results come in, and little by little, they'll increase that return on their investment. So that's what I'm asking you to do uh, when, when you do your pay-per-click because before you can start optimizing you need data and data just costs time and it costs money at first you may even be losing money but you're going to collect a lot of data and you'll be able to target what makes you money you'll be able to trim out everything that doesn't and over time you're going to find that you're going to increase your return on your investment so if you're able to break even at first, that is awesome. So it's not uncommon, but it's just not something that I would expect right out of the gate. How are your margins? Basically, can you afford PPC? If you have really tight margins, there isn't a lot of room to add in another expense. And again, in theory, you will be making money on every PPC dollar you spend. But the reality is there's, there's fluctuations, there's ups and downs, particularly at the beginning there's a chance you may have to have an advertising budget that just it's just going to be money you spend and it's just the reality of getting started with pay-per-click so do you have enough margin built in to be able to afford pay-per-click assuming you have a 50 percent margin on both sales and it's a simple example i have here but if you have a ten dollar spend on a one hundred dollar sale that is a whole lot different than a ten dollar spend on a ten dollar sale because once you factor in the cost of goods that second sale that um, ten dollar spend on a ten dollar sale you're, you're gonna be losing money on that so here's some key terminology we'll talk about the different match types so broad a broad match type is when you have a keyword let's say sleeping bag when a customer types in the term best sleeping bag for example you'll appear if they type in best bag for sleeping your ad may appear the point is both words have to be in the term and there can be any other mix of words, and the words can be reversed in any order. So as long as those words appear, your ad may be triggered. Phrase just means that the keyword "sleeping bag" in this example, that they need to be the word two need to, the two words need to be together, like a phrase. So 
you can have best sleeping bag, best sleeping bag for camping, but best bag sleeping will not trigger your ad. Exact is exactly what it sounds like. If a, you have a sleeping bag keyword, then sleeping bags may be triggered. Sleeping bag uh, may trigger your ad. But if someone types in best sleeping bag under an exact match, uh, your ad will not display. Negative exact prevents your ad from being shown. So if I put in a negative exact for sleeping bag, then my ad will never show if a customer types in the search term sleeping bag. Negative phrase means if they type the phrase sleeping bag in this example, my ad will won't appear. So a negative phrase with the term sleeping bag, my ad won't appear for sleeping bag. It won't appear if they searched best sleeping bag, best sleeping bag for camping. All right, so some key terminology. Impressions, that's just how many times your ad appears on the screen. Clicks, how many times it gets clicked. CPC or cost per click, how much did you pay when it got clicked. Your spend, so what was your total spend on clicks. Sales is actual product sales. So this doesn't include any of your expenses. Sales is actually if you have 25, you have a $25 product that sells for $25, you sell four of them, your sales will show as $100. And ACoS, or your advertising cost of sales. And the one point I want to make about ACoS is I still see a big misconception that when, they, when people see a 100% ACoS, that means they're breaking even. And unless your product is completely free and it gets to Amazon for free, and when you sell a $25 product, you make $25 profit, a 100% ACoS is not breaking even because you have to factor in that, that cost. So if you have a 50% margin, so on that $25 product, you profit $12.50 before this advertising cost, then what, is, what, what you're saying is you're willing to spend up to what you make, $12.50, to break even on that sale. So in this instance, your break even A cost, since you have a 50% margin, is 50%. So just keep that in mind, and it's something you're, you're going to want to track uh, as you move forward in your campaigns. So here's a you know very simple graphic, but just to show you how the um, the campaigns are laid out. So at the top level, you have your campaign. Inside of your campaigns, you have your ad groups, and then keywords are assigned to each ad group. I'll go into more detail on the right way to structure this, or one way to structure it that's effective, and um, w once we start doing some more bulk keyword research and adding in more campaigns, then we'll talk a little bit more about how to structure these. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to launch your first campaign, but first let's, let's talk a little bit about it. So your first campaign is going to be an automatic campaign, which means Amazon is going to use various information. So they're going to use their own algorithm. They'll use your backend terms, your title, and they're going to basically Show your ad for what they think you're selling based on all this data. And the purpose for us is to collect that information. So we want to collect the data both on what Amazon thinks you're selling and hopefully pick up some, some keywords that we're converting that we can take some further action on. Sales are a bonus here. Remember that. This, the purpose of this is just to get information because if Amazon is wrong about what you're selling, which it happens, it happens more than you think. Later on, we're gonna have a really hard time getting impressions for words that are very relevant to our listing. So to do it, we're going to start with a high bid and we'll put maybe, depending on your product, three to five dollars will do it and a 15 to 20 dollar budget. Again, we're just collecting information. We'll do it for about three, four, five days depending on how much um, money you have to spend. The reason we put a high bid is we don't wanna put a ceiling on certain terms. We want to get all the terms and we want to find everything Amazon thinks is relevant. Plus, when you put that high bid, you get an idea what the um, kind of high, high cost, high conversion keywords are. All right, so that's all the information. Let's go into Amazon and get your first campaign started. All right, so to launch your first automatic campaign, you will log into your Seller Central account. Then head up to the top of the screen here under Advertising, Campaign Manager. Click there. Then you'll go ahead and come down here to Create Campaign. You'll set a campaign name. So let's put 
auto validation and I'll put product number one but put the name of your product so well our example before was sleeping bag so there then we'll put a $20 budget leave no end date select automatic targeting continue to next step here you'll have an ad group name so for ad group name we'll put the name of the the product in this case the default bid will set it at four dollars and then here you'll have all of your products all, all the ASINs that you are currently selling and you'll select the the one that, that you're gonna run this for so if you have one product but with several different colors so variations under the same listing go ahead and select them all and once you select the product you want to run it for it'll it'll show up down here or the multiple products if you have variations and then it just has a quick thing it says automatic targeting and basically explains the same thing we talked about of how it's going to be uh, picking those keywords so once you're ready just hit save and finish and your campaign will be launched so yeah that does it um if you have any questions or any comments make sure to leave them and i will see you guys in video number three take it easy